This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. The donor ministry has plans to partially fund an amount of 6,000 crore rupees proposed Greenfield Airport in Kohima, which could be the first in the Nagaland capital. This was conveyed by Union Minister for Development of Northeastern Region, J Jitendra Singh, to Nagaland Chief Minister Nipoidio, who called on him yesterday along with a delegation of senior officers of the state government. Singh conveyed to the Chief Minister that the proposal to set up an airport in Kohima is being pursued seriously by the donor ministry and after an appropriate site was identified by the state government. In this regard, the Chief Minister requested the donor minister that part of the cost for the establishment of the airport could be funded by the donor ministry or the Northeastern Council. Additional security forces will be deployed in Assam ahead of the publication of the final National Register of Citizens. Official sources said that security forces will be deployed in a bid to instill confidence among citizens. Vulnerability mapping has been done by the Assam government where additional forces will be deployed. The final NRC will be published by the 31st of this month. Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonawal will hold a meeting with all Deputy Commissioners and Superintendent of Police tomorrow in Guwahati on NRC. He is expected to take stock of the preparation of the district administrations ahead of the final NRC publication. The Ministry of Home Affairs has already said that those names excluded from the NRC will get 120 days to file their appeal instead of the existing 60 days. The CSIR Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute said it is developing a small powered electronic tractor which will be the cheapest in Indian market at little over 1 lakh rupees. The government run research and development wing is targeting to conduct the first trial of the tractor within next one year at its Durgapur facility in West Bengal. The institute is working on to develop a battery operated small tractor of 10 HP power. It is looking to make a less weight product which is efficient for farmers having smaller land parcels, CSIR CMERI Director Harish Hirani said at a press conference in Guwahati. Currently, the product is at minimum requirement stage and the researchers are looking to have the first successful test run in the next one year, he added. Assam Rifles and Mizoram Police in a joint operation in Champai District on Mizoram Myanmar border yesterday seized three AK-56 rifles and three magazines. A Myanmar national was arrested from Samtang village for the alleged possession of the weapons. Mizoram shares 404 km long porous international border with Myanmar which has become one of the main corridors for arms smuggling and drug trafficking due to its strategic location and proximity with the Golden Triangle. In Meghalaya, planting of fruit-bearing saplings was organized along the roadside between Ryuang and Nongshram villages, which falls under the National Highway No. 127B of Motion Road Block in West Kasi Hills. The program was organized with an intention to improve the environment as well as to benefit the passerby and travelers. The program was organized as part of implementation of MGNREGA to bring development in the area. The program was enthusiastically participated by members belonging to Sienduli Sinjuk, Nongshinshar Shnong. The Deputy Commissioners of West Kasi Hills District, Tilingwa, who was the chief guest at the fruit-bearing sapling plantation, lauded the traditional body of the Sinduli village and its residents for sparing their valuable time for the good of the community. The Arunachal Pradesh government has carried out a major bureaucratic reshuffle. A notification issued by Chief Secretary Naresh Kumar stated that Chief Electoral Officer Kaling Tayang has been given additional charge as Commission of Home, PWD, Border Affairs and Political. Trade and Commerce and Cooperation Secretary Onit Panyang has been posted as Secretary Parliamentary Affairs besides his earlier post of cooperation. While Nihari Karai, who was awaiting posting, has been posted as Woman and Child Development Department Secretary besides Social Justice Empowerment and Tribal Affairs. Govind Jaiswal, who was awaiting posting, has been posted as Rural Development, Panchayati Raj Secretary and Office on Special Duty to the Chief Secretary. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio Shillong. Have a nice day.